biniro pa ako kung ano daw yung pinost ko. Sabi daw nila imbudo. Also, uh, ano pa ba yung mga nakuha kong reactions? Like, yak, pinapasok mo yan sa sarili mo? Parang ganun. And also, um, eh, parang, uh, Instead of encouragement, you would hear uh, criticisms for your choices. So I, su I suggest that when you shift to the menstrual cup, dapat buo na yung loob mo. Hi everyone! Welcome ulit dito sa vlog ko. Ito si Inder Jace and uh, today... Um, Mag-share ako about sa experience ko uh, about the menstrual cup. So, bago ako tumuloy din sa details and experience ko about the menstrual cup, I just want to say a disclaimer that I am not a health expert. So, if you are still unsure after doing your own research, I highly recommend to consult a gynecologist. I am only sharing my first-hand experience about the product and uh, my opinion on its advantages and disadvantages. Usually, um, yung mga topic about menstruation or what we call as our monthly period is a uh, restricted topic among women only. Minsan nga yung mga kapwa natin, babae, uh, nahihiya pa at hindi komportable pag-usapan to. So, for me, I feel that it's high time for us that we normalize these types of conversations, lalo na when it comes to your health and your choices. Something as natural as having a regular biological process happen to your body every month should be a safer topic than debating about politics. Also, in most provinces or in most schools, wala pa akong naririnig na inadvocate yung ibang options apart from sanitary napkins. Again, because parang uh, tabu topic pa rin ito and I feel na hindi masyadong priority ang reproductive health sa ibang mga lugar lalo na sa far-flung areas. In case mali po yung assumptions ko, uh, please feel free to let me know through the comment section and I will happily read uh, through your comments sa next video ko if needed. So, ano nga ba ang menstrual cup? It's a feminine hygiene product. Uh, it's usually in a bell or funnel shape and it's flexible and usually this is made of rubber or silicone and uh, it's a vaginal cup because it's inserted in that part so things to consider um, when choosing the right menstrual cup for you um, first is reliability. Uh, marami akong nakitang options sa uh, mga online shopping platforms like uh, Shopee and Lazada. Of course, as a usual customer, dun tayo sa mga tried and tested na and maraming positive reviews. If hindi concern yung price ay inyo, I would uh, personally recommend buying one from an established brand like Sinaya Cup. So, I bought mine uh, from Sinaya Cup. Ayan, Sinaya Cup. And uh, uh, I ordered it um, sometime in uh, last week of uh, July. Um, and then I received the item uh, first week of August. So that time, uh, meron silang pinost na coupon or voucher sa Instagram nila. And I was able to use it and got a discount. I got the large cup. Yeah, the large cup. The one that I showed you earlier. Yes. Um, so, this is 1,079 uh, pesos, um, less the discount um, during that time, uh, which is 53.95 plus the shipping of 120. So, yung total amount na binayarin ko is 1,145. Again, yung discount uh, or voucher I used was applicable um, during that time in back in July and August 2020. So right now, I'm not sure what are their latest promos. So I highly recommend that you visit their social media pages or yung website nila mismo. That's www.sinayacup.com um, Second, uh, size. So maraming factors ang dapat i-consider uh, when choosing the right size for you so that includes your age um 
yung flow mo, whether um, heavy ba or hindi, if nanganak ka na ba or hindi pa, yung capacity ng cup. So, Sinaya has a small sized cup which can hold up to 18 ml and a large sized one which can hold um, up to 23 ml. So, my choice was the large size, as you can see earlier. Uh, yung basis ng decision ko is, in I'm in my 30s, um, I haven't given birth yet, uh, pero I'm used to really having heavy flows uh, every uh, every time I have my period. So, nasa sa'yo talaga if um, yung decision, um, what size you will choose, kasi you know your uh, body more than anyone else. But again, if talagang unsure ka and kailangan mo ng expert advice para mas makampante ka sa decision mo, I highly uh, recommend to consult a gynecologist. Punta naman tayo sa paano gamitin ang menstrual cup. So, uh, para mas madaling matandaan, I would like to use the acronym SIRS. S-I-R-S. So, first is S for sanitize. So, maghugas muna ng kamay with soap and water. Also, wash the menstrual cup with soap and water. And I personally prefer na wag mo totally patuyuin yung cup uh, after washing. Now, let's go to the I for insert. Uh, bago natin ni-insert yung cup, uh, fold it in half muna. So, you will see different uh, ways to fold a menstrual cup online. In my experience, uh, mas convenient sa akin yung uh, ganitong fold. Ayan. Yung ganyang fold, fold it in half, or yung ganito. Yeah. Ganyan. Yan, but again, I prefer yung basta fold it in half yan. So, um, naka-fold siya while you are um, inserting uh, the cup and then you slightly uh, rotate it. And mararamdaman mo na it will spring uh, spring open kasi susundin niya yung, um, yung original shape niya while inside. So, ba, gaano ba kalalim yung pag-insert ng cup? Um, a few inches sa baba ng cervix mo is a good location. Sa experience ko, uh, you should be able to leave a small part of the stem. So, this is the stem. Um, should be able to leave a small part of the stem reachable when you use your um, index finger and thumb. So, you should feel a suction seal kapag tama yung pagkakalagay mo. Kasi, nakadikit yan sa walls. Yan. So, pakiramdaman mo ng maigi and adjust as needed uh, while holding uh, dun sa stem. Ayan. Then, uh, for R, uh, remove. Uh, depending on how heavy your flow is, uh, pwede tumagal ng around um, 6 to 12 hours max yung cup. So, when you're ready or kapag puno na, then it's time to remove. Of course, make sure to wash your hands with soap and water. Tapos, uh, using your, um, again, uh, thumb and uh, index finger, ipupull mo yung stem. Yan. Pull mo yung stem until maabot mo yung base ng cup. Ito yung base ng cup. Medyo i-press mo siya ng konti. So, ayan. Medyo i-press mo siya ng konti para matanggal yung suction bago mo bunutin yung cup. Then, you just simply um, dispose the contents sa toilet. Ayan. And then, um, flush. Then, um, lastly, another S for sanitize. Of course, you need to wash it again with soap and water. Um, then, you can reuse it again if needed uh, or pag hindi pa tapos yung period mo. But, of course, uh, if tapos na, uh, uh, dry this uh, with a clean cloth and then you keep it in or store it in a safe or um, malinis na lagayan. So, Sinaya Cup um, uh, provided like a uh, this uh, small, uh, cute bag here um, na fit para dun mismo sa uh, cup itself. So, uh, once it's dry, pasok mo lang ulit and seal it. So, when I ordered uh, this from Sinaya Cup, it came through a box. Ayan, meron naman ditong um, instructions and guides sa loob. Ayan. Here. And then, also... 
It was packaged well. Bakit nga ba nag-shift ako sa um, menstrual cup? So, first, it's reusable. Um, versus ng mga single-use napkins na kapag tapos na, gets thrown um, away and adds to our landfills. Sanitary napkins are uh, non-biodegradable and toxic. So, menstrual cups are eco-friendly and it lessens your um, carbon footprint. Second, it's convenient. Uh, why? Kasi it holds more blood. Hindi mo kailangang magpalit ng napkins every few hours. Um, hindi rin siya bulky, so mas komportable ka lumakad or maging active. Kasi hindi mo iniisip if matatanggal yung adhesive nung, nung napkin mo and mawawala siya in place. In fact, you can sleep overnight and not worry um, about waking up in the middle of the night para magpalit ng napkin. So, I highly recommend na timingan mo din ng maayos. Uh, so, siguro before sleeping, uh, make sure na um, isanitize mo yung cup uh, and i-reuse mo siya bago matulog. In fact, sa social media, you will see um, users of the menstrual cup posting their um, photos were in their in the middle of a yoga, a difficult yoga pose or doing high intensity activities. So that only proves na hindi nakakaapekto yung paggamit ng menstrual cup. Uh, for, it doesn't stop you from living a, an active lifestyle. And uh, in terms of tagos, uh, during the time I used um, I used the menstrual cup. Walang tagos and uh, or very I mean a very rare yung tagos. Meron lang siguro akong napansin na very faint na stain which is usually an indicator kapag puno na yung cup. But almost all of the time na suot ko yung cup and ginamit ko siya. So uh, I I I've had two periods na ever since binili ko tong cup. Um wala naman siyang tagos so it's really tagos free. Third, it's safe. Um, so like you, pumasok din sa isip ko, safe ba talaga gumamit ng menstrual cup? And I have proven that it is indeed safe. Kasi in fact, um, I feel na it's safer sa sanitary napkins. Kasi um, sanitary napkins have fiber or materials that get soiled upon contact with blood. Tapos, nakadikit, imagine nakadikit yun sa skin mo. And some even... Uh, get rashes, especially that medyo hindi nakakahinga yung area or yung part ng skin na nakadikit dun sa napkin and it gets messy with sweat and blood. So, if you're worrying about um, toxic uh, shock syndrome, you are not at risk uh, with the menstrual cup. Mas may risk pa yung gumagamit ng ibang products like um, tampons. But of course, uh, like any product, every um, experience is uh, different. Um, Merong ibang nagsasabi na messy daw yung pag-remove ng cup, mahirap daw gamitin, baka allergic uh, daw sila um, sa material or baka magka-infection. So again, uh, do your due diligence of researching and consulting an expert. So, mas kilala mo yung sarili mo and at the end of the day, it's a choice you need to make for yourself. So, I hope nakatulong yung tong video na to. So, kung may comments ka or mga katanungan, please drop it in the comments section below. Uh, kung sakaling nagustuhan mo yung uh, video na to, please like and subscribe na rin po. Baka naman. <laughs> so, until my next video, uh, bye for now and halong!